Oh, I think I'm live. I think I'm live. I think I'm live. Oh, hello. 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 hot toys let's talk about uh don't really want to let's talk about toys let's talk about all sorts of fun stuff hello ghost app been meaning to tell you happy for some time very nice reading your comments been meaning to tell you some time happy cool you heard me honey easy <laughs> Baby Yoda. Hello, what's up? Good to very nice. Lockdown out there. What's up? Yeah, no, the state's closed. Las Vegas closed uh, last week, and uh, I've just been bottled up in the home. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Reading some of these comments that are coming in here. Um, hopefully, hopefully, it's a good signal. Uh, Hot Toys Baby Yoda. What's the price on this bad boy? 410 bucks. Uh, it's a day one pre-order. I pre-ordered it day one. And uh, I've, I read the comments out there. I, I, I see what's, uh, what's going on. Uh, we pre-ordered the Silver Mando and his Yoda. Yeah, I'll talk about the Silver Mando, but it's, it's Baby Yoda that um, a lot of people are, uh, are hating on it. And uh, I, I think... I think collectors in the community are hating on Baby Yoda simply because they all pulled the trigger on that sideshow uh, version, so they're making excuses. And, and, and I, I get annoyed when I when I see stuff like this. Like, oh, the sideshow uh, Baby Yoda is so much better than the hot toys. And I go, you know, that's bull. You know, that's that's fuck. That's bull. I'm calling shenanigans on that right now. Um, I think the hot toys Baby Yoda. For what it is, for what it offers you, I think it's phenomenal. Let me straighten this up here. Uh, did the message retract it? Uh, the swappable ears, the, uh, I think it's, there's an additional head sculpt on there. I want to say there's an additional head sculpt with the Baby Yoda. Uh, the, the facial expressions on the Hot Toys Baby Yoda look so much better. Um, What's what's one of the complaints? It looks like a toy. Is the going but, I, but but that's what Baby Yoda is, isn't Baby Yoda a market employee? A toy. Ooh, somebody out here smoking some good stuff. <laughs> wow, that smell. Mmm. Uh, anyway, oh, <laughs> I am walking around in the park. Uh, it is a little bit more than the Sideshow. The Sideshow Baby Yoda is what, 350? And uh, the Hot Toys one is 410. Legacy Studios is involved with the Sculpt, with the Sideshow one, but they're not the ones that are manufacturing it. This is one of the things that I, uh, I wanted to kind of uh, clear up. You're gonna get high from this one. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get high. It's, it's out here. Uh, uh, yeah, they're using the Legacy Studios sculpt, but they're not the ones manufacturing it. Let's keep in mind, um, let's keep in mind that the Sideshow Baby Yoda will be the exact same manufacturing team that they use to build all the, all the, uh, other, uh, tchotchke stuff. Like, it will make a great, well, yes, Legacy will make a great prototype, but they're not the ones that are mass producing this. It's not Legacy Studios. It's the, it's the Chinese team that Sideshow employs. Uh, people need to remember that. Uh, and prototypes with 
with Sideshow all, are always a lot less, um, uh, what's the, the quality is a lot, uh, it's a lot more less with Sideshow than it is with Hot Toys. In fact, Hot Toys has a history of when they show you the prototype, it's always going to be better anyway, for the most part. For, for the most part with Hot Toys, it's, it's typically a, a little bit better. Um, but the, the, the Sideshow with the Legacy, uh, will ever release the Mark, Mark III. We released, they already released a Mark III Iron Man. That's already been released already. I want to say that. So I, I, I get it. The Sideshow Baby Yoda uh, at, at 350, that seems to be more attractive. Uh, it's, it's a static. I mean, I, I, I guess what, you, what you'd want to look at it is if it's, a, if it's a statue that you want, if you're not looking for the articulation, then I would say that's fine. That The Sideshow one would probably be the best one uh, for you. I don't trust Sideshow. I've been burned three times with Sideshow. I don't care if it's a Legacy Studios prototype. They're not the ones that, that, are, that are making it. Uh, Hot Toys, again, has a better track record of releasing products that typically are a little bit better than what is shown in the prototype. So that's, that's my take on it. Um, the, the excuse where everybody says it, 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 it looks like a toy. Oh, oh, the Hot Toys Baby Yoda. It, it looks like it, oh, it's, it's, it is a toy. I don't, I don't get that. Now, if you're referring to the paint scheme, right? It is a little, the paint scheme on the Hot Toys, uh, I'll, I'll play advocate. It's the prototype for the Legacy Studios Baby Yoda is more close to the, uh, to, to the TV show, to the actual uh, production. But again, that's the prototype. Right, we're, we're we're judging the prototype photo from Sideshow, and I don't oh, let me straighten this out here. I don't trust. <laughs> I don't trust Sideshow. I really, really don't. And uh, um, I don't know. I I pre-order the Hot Toys Sideshow. I mean, I pre-order the the Hot Toys Baby Yoda uh, simply for for the fact that I have more confidence. I I trust Hot Toys. They have a better history of, of uh, their, their, their track record, you know? These are expensive, especially now, with our country and, and unemployment and, you know, now we as collectors, we, we gotta like start watching our money now. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Those good old years of uh, splurging on, on toys and collectibilities, I mean, even me, I've, I've pulled back. I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, it's gonna bite a lot of collectors in the ass. A lot of U.S. collectors. I can, I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak for the U.S. collectors. It's gonna hurt us. It's gonna hurt us so bad. It really is. Um, it's rough right now. It's rough in uh, in the U.S. right now. Uh, a lot of states are gonna be closing, and uh, it's we 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 tend to we Americans we tend to pull back the if we don't feel confident in spending. Uh, it's always going to be that. It's always going to be the SH Free Guards. It's always going to be the Marvel Legends. It's always going to be the Hot Toys that get shelved. And if, if you have a family, if you're watching it for yourself, splurging three or four hundred dollars on that, uh, on that uh, Hot Toys figure, you really, really want to think about it now. You really, I mean, even, I was going, I was kind of going spend crazy last year. I'm like, oh. Not after this coronavirus, not after this. Ooh, I said it. My video's gonna get flagged. I wasn't supposed to say it. I was supposed to call it the event. I said it. <laughs> How was that? Wow, that wind really is hurting my ear. Oh, is there? <laughs> it's, it's an outdoor live stream. Hopefully you guys can still hear me and uh, it's not too bad. And I can get the camera stable. At least the st stability is pretty good. I gotta say though, for the light quality on this, it's pretty goddamn good. Uh, uh, what else? What else are we talking about here? Quite any questions? Let me see what's going on here. Are you working from home during this mess? Yes, I am. I'm reading the questions here. The beer. This is the beer. I'm waiting right here. Loud and clear. You are so entitled. Hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll learn from this fiasco. Yes, we we are, are so. Yes, we are. That's actually VHS copy something. You're right. You're absolutely right. Are you working from home? Yes, I am working from home. Uh, did you notice I'm restocking? Yes. Yes. Do you guys know why Sideshow? Do you guys understand 
why mysterious old stock products have mysteriously showed up on Sideshow. I actually know this. I've actually been buying through Sideshow for such a long time. I actually know why 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 uh, figures that are now showing up. Like, oh, what's going on here? They're just pop, pop, pop. Um, if anybody knows, post a comment, but I'll explain it to you. And the reason I know is because uh, I've the customer service with Sideshow Collectibles is phenomenal. And if you ask the right questions with the customer service of Sideshow, they'll give you the answer. So I, I know this. I know why old old ass stock is now showing back up in Sideshow, like like the Civil War um, Bucky that someone told me was on there, but it was gobbled up within, within like an hour. And I was like, oh, I didn't I didn't know about this. I, but I, I'm very well aware. Oh, there's a comment here. I'm gonna touch it here. Oh, correct, correct. <laughs> what are you doing with all this free time? I'm working from home, Rayo. <laughs> I am working. I'm working from home. Uh, so, Sideshow's a payment plan, right? Sideshow's payment plan is extremely flexible, right? Let's face it. We as collectors, we are. Um, we're buying expensive toys, three to four hundred dollars, right? And Sideshow loves to work with its customer base. Sideshow Collectibles has a very good customer service, and they can stretch out your payments months at a time. If you tell them, "Hey, look, I I'm only two payments away from paying off that Hulkbuster. I just need a few more months." Oh, Mr. Joe Schmo, we don't mind working with you. We'll pause the payments, and then you can continue and so forth. Depending on the situation, depending on how many payments you made, they can stretch. They can stretch out your 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 layaway plan for months. It is ridiculous. It is it is extremely ridiculous. They can put it on pause. They can they can hold it. Um, so that's why like stuff that is just like like what is why is this showing up here? Why? And that's really what it is. And you're probably going to see more old back stock show up uh, in, in Sideshow because of, 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 of what's going on. Um, people are now are, are tightening up money. Uh, um, you've really got to, you know, if, if you've lost your job, um, making payments on or whatever on that pre-order that was supposed to arrive, you got to put that uh, to, to, to a side. You're not going to be able to get, uh, to get that. Iron Man figure if you lost your job or if you're on furlough or your hours were cut. So are you going to play Imagine when you're going to, oh God, no. Are you going to play Imagine? No, 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 I'm not. Um, what's interesting with me is that I've, I've, I've always planned for the worst. I've always been, justice, I've always been the type to plan for the worst. I've never stretched myself thin. Um, I do payments. I, I pull back, I make cancels. That was one of the reasons why I purchased the Neon Tech War Machine, because I knew because of what happened with all the pre-orders being pushed back so far, I'm like, you know what? I told myself, Denobi, you gotta put the brakes on Iron Man with the War Machine Neon Tech, but I knew because things were so bad in Hong Kong, um, I was able to, to pick it up. It's as collectors and and there's um oh i can't think of the uh the the, the um there's there's other uh what's the the channel oh my god you guys are gonna kill me uh scavengers the the, the live stream they they talked about this and um it, it's it, i'll stress it for you right i'm gonna i'll i'll give it more more drama because as collectors it's gonna get so much worse for us it really really is when things go back to normal, right? When things go back to 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 normal, it, it's it's going to create a, a huge flood of merchandise, um, especially with with us. If you've canceled your payment now, from what I understand, right? And you guys can correct me on this. Uh, Pre-order non-refundable uh, deposits on Sideshow are being refunded if you explain your situation. If you're nice to them, they work with you, right? Again, I don't work for Sideshow. I just, I can vouch for their customer service because I've used it quite a bit. Um, everybody seems to be working. All the companies are, are, are working. 
with, with with their customers because we've all been through this before. We've all been through this uh, recession, right? Most of us have. I'm old enough. I remember. I remember the 2008. So everybody is is really um, working with everybody, and all these down payments. I mean, all these all these uh, payment plans that we've all committed to. I want to say sideshow can work with you and they can probably stretch it out but what's gonna suck is is that when you get your job back and when things get back to normal come fall you are now bombarded with huge payments but here's the th here's the thing though if you if if you're if you're penny pinching now if you're penny if you're if you're penny pinching now if you're trying to save money now and you've, you've, you've held back all this stuff and you're relying on credit cards or whatnot it's it's going to create it's going to create a big problem. I th I think the spectacular event on Sideshow is going to be very generous. All right, I'm going to call it right now. You guys can can I think spectacular that that little where they're where they're hitting where they're sitting heavy on stock. I think I think it's going to be I think it's going to be very generous. Um, there's going to be a lot of cancels on pre-orders. Folks have, you know, like, hey, I, I can't afford to purchase this figure because I lost my job or my hours were cut or I'm sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. I think Spooktacular is going to be phenomenal. I've stopped pre-ordering through Sideshow Collectibles. I've kind of switched over to Alter Ego. Uh, there's so much better free shipping. Sales tax is better. Let me straighten the camera out here. And... Um, my my pre-orders right now for the year, I have about ten on on Sideshow and I have about eight on on Alter Ego, and I'm just assuming everything keeps keeps getting pushed back. Like this Hot Toys Baby Yoda, I'm not gonna expect this till at least two years down the road. What's the release date? Someone someone posted what's the release date for the Hot Toys Baby Yoda? They're gonna be at least two years out on this. This is ridiculous. Uh, hold on here. Uh, wait, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Hot Toys Baby Yoda is gonna be at least two years out. I'm gonna say the Hot Toys Baby Yoda is uh, where it's gonna be like late 2021, early 2022. They're they're gonna be so backed up. I I still don't have the wasp. I have the the wasp on pre-order, the Hot Toys wasp, and uh, um, it's it, it's it's been two years. We, we're going to reach a point now where our pre-orders are going to sit for about two years now. That seems to be the going trend now, isn't that right? Baby Yoda, December 2020 to March 2021. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll predict March 2021. I'm going to say it's Christmas of 2021. There's just no way. The Hulkbuster, the, the reissue Hulkbuster is, is past two years. What do we got? Um, oh, everybody every all you collectors out there that were so friggin happy for the iron man uh mark 47 from spider-man homecoming oh that's gonna be a pain in the ass now everybody's like oh great i won't have to i won't have to deal with scalpers all well, it sucks though it's gonna it's it's being released at a point in time where most of us uh our, our hours are being cut or lost our job or it's hardship or, or whatnot you may you may be forced to pass it it's crazy though when i posted my rant video on the mark 47 a lot of you guys mentioned look i didn't have the money at the time you may not have the money at the time now to get that you're gonna have that you're gonna have the, the, the superman justice league has that even most of you guys haven't even received that yet it's still on pre-order i only happen to get mine because i pre-ordered i was it was a day one pre-order for me so that's the only reason i was able to get my superman um what else? What? Uh, it's, there's so much. Oh, Alita. Oh, can someone tell me what happened to Alita? Isn't that going on two years? See, this is what sucks, right? This is what sucks about um, with Hot Toys right now. Is that, hey, that sniffle right there? I'm not sick, all right? I just, I have a watery nose. I, I don't have it, right? Don't, don't start flagging my V. Don't start flagging this video for infection. <laughs> I'm cool, right? <laughs> that was just that was just a sniffle, right? Look, I got some tissue here. Calm down. Um, we're uh, Mark Mark eighty five releasing this year. Hopefully, Rayo Mark eighty five. I don't. Who knows? Who knows if we're gonna get the Mark eighty five? Right? Sideshow shipping anything now? Sideshow. 
yeah, everything that they have standing uh, that they're um, that they have on the shelves, right? They're all working from home. You guys, anybody who's purchased from Sideshow, you you guys all got a, you guys all got that email from Sideshow. They're all working from home. They have a few people in the warehouse, so they're running whatever they got. I I would imagine that if if a shipment comes in from Long Island from California, they they will ship that out. Absolutely. I can't imagine Sideshow sitting on everything uh, on anything right now. Uh, same thing for Big Bad Toy Store. Same thing for Alter Ego. They're all working from home. They have a few uh, people at, at their stores. I mean, I can tell you right now here in Vegas, the comic book stores are all closed. Our governor closed our state down last week, right? My state, the state of Nevada, was one of the first states that closed. Our governor said, the hell with this shit, and he just closed it. He's Think about it. Think about that. I live in Vegas. And the casinos, there's no gambling, there's no sin. The sin in Las Vegas is closed. Think about that. Think about that. Uh, the beer buyers can stay in the, uh, in the paper. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you're killing me, dude. You're killing me. You're killing me. What, <laughs> what, what else has been delayed on Sideshow? What else has, has, and that's the thing too. And here's the thing. So what if a, a, a shipment from Long Island arrives and, and what are you going to do? Everybody's kind of like twin locking. Like as collectors now, we're all hoping that our pre-orders are delayed, right? We're all kind of almost like, oh man, I, I, you know, my, my, you know, my hours are cut. I'm, I'm on sick leave or, or I got, I'm on furlough and heaven forbid you, you, you don't want those pre-orders to come in now, do you? I know I don't. I, I, I still have my job. I, I'm, I'm fortunate that, um, I'm lucky that I was able, um, with what I do, to work from home. And I'm going to tell you something. It, it sucks. I don't like working from home. I really don't. I like going to the office. I like interacting with my colleagues. I really, really do. Um, everybody always dreams about working. Oh, yeah. so it would be such a luxury. No, it's not, man. It's not. I don't, I don't like working from home. <laughs> I like the office. I like hanging out by the water cooler. All that jazz. I really, really do. Uh, comment came in here. Hold on. What was that? Uh, right. I'm not being in trouble, right? So, purpose. <laughs> Sideshow shipping anything now. Uh, let me see other comments there. Uh, hey, can you guys tell me, is, is Star Wars dead? Is Star Wars Hot Toys dead? What? What? <laughs> I know there's a few of you, a few rebels out there. <laughs> that are are still trying to make star wars hot toys a thing i <laughs> i i think star wars hot toys is dead or it's dying i'm not trying to hate guys you guys know i i i, I support classic star wars hot toys but you you <laughs> you cats out there holding your breath for um what's that clown's name solo who out there is holding their breath for that crap? <laughs> don't, don't, don't be so yeah. I, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a light of the situation. Who out there is holding their breath for uh, Solo? What, there's like three different versions of this Solo character. Uh, there's one with like a pimp 70s coat. There's, I, I, oh my God, there's one in the armor. I, I sympathize, I, but... <laughs> I, I'm not trying, I, I, Star Wars Hot Toys, oh my god, oh my god. A uh, comment came in here, hold on, something came in. Uh, I don't really like being around people, but I do miss my friends. I do too, I miss my colleagues, I miss my friends, I, 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 I don't like being locked up. Uh, without giving up your privacy, can you tell us, yeah. Uh, Bob Dylan, ask a question. I do sales, Bob. I'm in sales, uh, right there. Uh, be your eyes can say favorite products. Uh, side show ship anything. I'm reading, I'm going through questions, see if I missed anything. Uh, really raw, wait, I miss it. Are you going to, he already has it. I'm going through questions here. I think people are more picky on their Star Wars figures. I'll pick a Vader any day of the week over Ray. <laughs> oh my God, the Rise of the Skywalker. What do we got? We got a Ray, we got a Fen. Oh my God, that's, it's, I'm sorry. It's not, no, no. No, it's it's not. It really isn't. Um, <laughs> let me straighten this camera out here. Hold on. Oh. 
straighten it out here. Well, <laughs> who who gave me? Someone threw two bucks at me. Does it? Does that show me? Who's 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 throwing? Uh, uh, that is virus money. What do you guys? I can't even see who gave me that shout out. Hold on. Someone. <laughs> Uh, though Bob Dylan still hoping for the Bob, you still hoping for the diecast mark one one day. Uh, Bob, <laughs> I'm gonna use that two dollars uh, towards my uh, fund so that I can afford a medical mask so that uh, <laughs> I don't get sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's the, oh my god? You guys know what I miss? I miss Iron Man. I miss Robert Downey Jr. All right, there I said it. All right. I, I miss having him in the role. I really, really do. Um, I know after his movie uh, uh, stunk, Dr. Doolittle, uh, there's talks of him returning back in the suit, so I'm kind of happy for that. He needs, to, he needs to put the suit back. He needs to, uh, he needs to, because I think, uh, I think it'll be really good. I think, uh, hold on. <laughs> Let me put this one here. Oh. I mean, when I look, I see his face everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I had to stop by. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get them on the camera. There's folks walking in the park too. I'm just using this for my rounds here. Uh, what is happening to Iron Man Hot Toys Endgame? I don't know what's going on with that. Everything's been on delay. Uh, everybody keeps telling me that China's back, that the printing presses are back, and the and the employees are back, and. Great. I just hope we, uh, as Americans, we have money to afford all this stuff back. Godfather of MCU. Hey, Denobi, what do you... Oh, I saw a question coming. Hey, uh, from Austin. Hey, Denobi, what do you think uh, where we... Let me see. Hey, what do you, what do you think would be our Hot Toys Armor and Die cast? Uh, oh, the, the Hulkbuster, the Hulkbuster 2.0. Um, you're probably going to get that at the end of the year. They're, they're so backed up on that crap. It's not even funny. They're everything. It's delay, delay, delay. Um, I haven't canceled any of my Sideshow pre-orders. I only have about uh, 10 left. And uh, everything has been pushed back. So for me, it's, it's, I really need to save money right now. Um, I, I'm not going through any hardship, but I, I am concerned of our, our current situation here. So, you know, I'm working now. I may not have a job next week or next month. Who knows? Um, you know, luckily all those years playing Left for Dead on Valve uh, may may come in handy for the uh, the apocalypse here. Uh, <laughs> I saw another question coming. Hold on, uh, I miss Cap at the end. I do. I I do miss Cap uh, from Peggy from original timeline. Uh, RGG will do cameos on Iron Heart Disney Plus. Oh my God, Disney Plus. Oh Disney. Plus, they, Disney Plus is hot shit right now, right? It's no big secret. Disney Plus is hot because we're all at home. And we're all watching it. We're all bored out of our minds watching Disney Plus. Yeah. Uh, put in another question here. Oh, uh, thanks. I do. I do. Sorry there. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't going bored either. Um, I... But I haven't got anything to review. Uh, I'm, what's what's the word? I keep telling myself I want to work on my next Fison video just to kind of keep me entertained. Uh, but it's a little bit difficult when everybody's home. Everybody's home. The kids aren't aren't in school. The, the schools are closed. And uh, it's just, it's, it's just, it's not hard. Well, it is hard. It's just, it's just challenging. It really is. It, it really just is. Put this here. Uh, we get back to normal. You know what I was telling my buddy? Hopefully John is on here. Hopefully John Boy is watching this live stream. I told John, right? I told John, I go, this, this alternate reality that we're living in, something happened, right? Because I don't remember 2020 like this. Like 20, 2020 was supposed to be a phenomenal year. But what I theorize is that some point in time, right? Some point in time, this is like an alternate 2020, something happened where we were supposed to all be informed 
we were all supposed to take this event seriously. And the timeline was skewed, creating this alternate 2020 where it all seems probably normal to you, but for me, like, this is weird. Like everything went south, like extremely fast. So we just need to figure out at what point in the past it veered off and it created this alternate 2020, this, this 2020 that we're living in, because this is very surreal. And, um, <laughs> and if we can just pinpoint now, we need to figure out, <laughs> we need to figure out when, when, when the news that was meant for, for Trump, um, where he missed it, because apparently everybody claims they told Trump this was all going to happen, but you know, it was all a hoax and, and so forth. So some point in time, when this alternate 2020 was created, <laughs> let's get the delay. I'm, <laughs> if I can hop on board my DeLorean and change this, this, this alternate, this alternate reality that we're living in, to put things back in order so that we can all, as collectors, go back to collecting the things that we love. Oh my God, that would be awesome. That, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm new to the ones that only got a few figures. Uh, I'm reading the comments here. Uh, uh, I got the Batman. What do you think makes the best custom? I, I don't do Batman anymore. Do not we look behind you? Those kids are... Oh, who's following me? Well, look behind me. What? Do not we look behind you? Those kids are following you. Quit messing with me. I'm scared. I like that. Donnie, what you doing, man? You guys are tweaking. Oh, be honest. I really forgot about this time. <laughs> I mean, to pick up SH figures, but I think we'll fit. Everything's been affected. Every Everything that we collect has been affected right now. Um, everything that, that we have on pre-orders. I mean, what do you think Hot Toys collectors keep on? <laughs> I'm reading this comment right here. You guys are making me laugh. Uh, Donobi, why do you, why, why do Hot Toys Star Wars collectors, uh, you keep going up against Hot Toys tomorrow? Because they're, they're still trying to, Hot, Hot Toys Star Wars collectors are a different breed from, from the Marvel, from the, from the Marvel fanboys that we, we just are. Um, I'm probably one of the few individuals that can, uh, that can go back and forth, but it's, it's, it hasn't been very successful. It's the same thing too for, uh, for, for, for the DC, for the DC universe, uh, hot toys collectors out there. And, and I've, I, 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 I did my best. I tried to support, uh, I, I did my best to support Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. I gave my heart out to that IP and it hasn't really returned the affection and the love that uh, that me as a collector that I would expect for, right? We're not buying $20 action figures here. We're, we're buying, you know, high-end collectible pieces and we we expect a certain, you know, detail, love and, and, and so forth. When you're dropping 250 on Superman and 230 on Wonder Woman and, uh, 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 another 250 on Batman. You, you, you really, you really like, I, I gotta love this stuff. Otherwise you start to get buried in it and it, and it doesn't make any sense. Like, why, why am I buying this? And, and they're not even supporting Superman. They're, 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 they're not even supporting Wonder Woman. It's, it, it doesn't make any sense. Now I got my Superman and in my unboxing video for Superman, I'm, I'm taking a break. I'm, I'm going to separate myself from the DC relationship and I'm gonna kind of venture off and see what else is out there. Uh, Star Wars for me is still on the fence. I think, uh, I think between Hot Toys and Disney, the Star Wars IP is just not being managed right. Right? They're they're not producing very good films with good scripts, and Hot Toys seems to um, they seem to nitpick on what they want to do, which is which is retar which is retarded. It just is right. Why don't we have a Chewbacca with C-3PO from Empire Strikes Back, right? Why? It doesn't make any sense. We've gotten two versions of Chewie. You can't slip in uh, a, a, a Chewbacca with, with C-3PO in the back. I'd be all over that. Oh, my God. Yum, 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 yum. Give me some classic Star Wars. I love me my classic Star Wars. I love it. Take my money. But I'm not, I'm not going to give you 230 bucks on a red Sith trooper 
that was animated in the last film for what three 30 seconds of, of, of screenshot and it was a joke no no it doesn't work like that no 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 with star wars when you're in a star wars relationship you you want to make sure it's it's reciprocal you want to make sure like look you know i i really love this film you know but I, that last rise of skywalker i didn't i felt no commitment i felt nothing from that from the the star wars ips from the sequel prequels i haven't felt anything you guys saw what I did. I turned it into a farce. I created, I did this skit, uh, Feist and Ray. That was, that was my attempt at humor. I'm like, no, this is, what, what is this? What? No, but I tell you what though, I do like Feist and Ray. <laughs> I, do, <laughs> I do like the, uh, the, the voice actress that I get to work with to, to voice Feist and Ray. So she's a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling here. Um, hot toys, I get it, they're a business. And they're very selective and picky as to what they produce, right? Makes sense. You, you want to make the stuff. Why don't we have a Han Solo best film? Well, I'd be on top of that. Why don't we have, a, like I said, Chewbacca with C-3PO? Give us some of that Empire Strikes Back. Goodness, hell, Return of the Jedi. Why don't we have a Return of the Jedi Vader? Now, with Vader, he doesn't sell as very well. He's very on and off with, with, with Vader. But um, I would say... Uh, I would say with Return of the Jedi, what else could we, what else from Return of the Jedi we can, uh, we, well, we got the Ewoks, we have, we have Speeder Bike Leia, we have Luke, what else do we need from Return of the Jedi? Uh, would you guys be interested in a, in a Carbonite version of Han Solo from Hot Toys, even though Sideshow did it? That'd be something, right? That'd be, you know, maybe let Hot, oh! Jabba the Hutt. Why don't we have Jabba the Hutt Hot Toys? Can you imagine if Hot Toys was able to do a Jabba the Hutt? Oh my God, how awesome would that be? How awesome would a Hot Toys Jabba the Hutt? Now, I pulled the trigger on Jabba the Hutt from Sideshow only because I did extensive research, I watched the reviews, and I felt confident enough that I would appreciate the piece. So I do have the Sideshow Jabba the Hutt, but again, that's very, very rare. That's typically with SciShow and me, we don't get along. We definitely, definitely don't get along. Han Solo from Return of the Jedi, absolutely. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, um, so I don't care for Rey. I don't care for Kylo. Um, maybe Palpatine in that getup where he's on life support, that'd be interesting, but they didn't even take a chance on that. Nobody wants to touch that. Oh, the, the, the way they handled the, the um, Palpatine. He's a clone, he's this, he's that. It's, it's all over the place. I'm not, I'm not doing it, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. Uh, stick with the classic, milk it, Hot Toys. You wanna stay in business, especially now, stick with the classics. Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, give me more droids, give me some of those Cantina aliens. Um, I don't approve of the Jawa and the Gonk Droid at 267. That's that's outrageous. That's no. The Gonk Droid and Jawa from Hot Toys for 267. And if I'm quoting the price wrong, hello Retro Force. If I'm quoting the price wrong, uh, correct me. That's fine. That's too much. It for 267, you should be getting two Jawas and a Gonk Droid. That would be a killer set. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they Why didn't they do that? I don't know. I don't know. They, they love to flex. Every year they love to flex. Um, put, just put it on the table. They can do so much. They can definitely do so much. Back to the Future, you know I'm going to talk about Back to the Future. Where's our Hover DeLorean? Why not? Give us a Hover DeLorean. Why can't you give us a Hover DeLorean? Why not? Back to the Future sells. You know, give us a, the, the proper scale Doc Brown. You can do so much with some of these IPs. I get it. Marvel, the cinematic universe is slowing down. You don't have, you don't, you, you don't have your Top Guns anymore. You don't have Chris Evans anymore. You don't have Robert Downey Jr. anymore. Now you have to rely on on uh, Doctor Strange, um, Ant Man. We don't even, <laughs> we don't even have Ant Man anymore. Where's Ant Man? The the pre ordered Ant Man, isn't he going on two years? The, from Ant-Man and Wasp? He hasn't been released yet, is he? <laughs> what is Mount Rushmore? Who's asking me about... I saw something about Mount, Mount Rushmore here. Uh, Obi-Wan episode. Yeah, that would do too. On Solo from Rise of Skywalker. Put effort in 
in that unkept solo here. Uh, did Hot Toys ever do Obi Wan? Yes, they did. Hey. Reading some of the Mount Rushmore. He's Mount Rushmore. You're referring to my uh, the the Iron Man, the the Hall of Armor suits I have. Uh, K2SO was done really well. You know, I do have K2SO, but I've always been I've always had a soft spot for for droids. So I, I K2SO was was a was a a very good buy. I actually do love my my K2SO. It was done very very well. Um, I sympathize for the folks that missed out on it. I really do. Oh, hold on here. Get the camera, my stabilizer here. And uh, who keeps? Is it? Is you? Somebody's. Somebody's giving me more money for 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 medical mask here. Is that? Uh, is that you, Bob? Comment if you want a new Fison swab. <laughs> a Fison. <I've laughs> are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, are you? Bob? Are you co-producing a, a new Fison video? That'd be kind of cool, huh? <laughs> New Fison. I need a. I need a. I do have a script. I do have a script that I wrote that I need to uh, tweak up. Um, it is. Uh, you know what? Maybe if I brainstorm with you guys, you guys can kind of help me on this. So, I have a script that I wrote about three weeks ago. It's supposed to be my next Fison video. Now that I I kind of have the time, I do and I don't because the house is always full now since we're all quarantined. So. My script deals with Woody, deals with Toy Stories, Woody, right? And in this Fison interpretation, Woody falls in love with a smart doll. And Woody wants to free the smart doll. For those of you who follow me in the channel, and Woody gets into an adventure in my room where he's voiced by voice actor, and I'll, I'll kind of kind of pose him and puppet chairman and so forth like that and the smart doll which is the one i got from japan will will speak in japanese <laughs> and uh i think you saw it under reddit somebody what's that comment here uh i think you saw it on Reddit under hot toys so red awesome there you go so in this fison script woody is kept in a cage and uh, I'm gonna walk this way because there's it's getting loud. I don't, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll go this way. Hold on. So Woody from Toy Story is alive, and he's kept in a cage. And he looks over across from the display case, and he sees a smart doll uh, in my display case, and he falls in love with the smart doll, and he wants to break out of the display case and save her. And the the gag is is that Woody. Um, partners up with uh, Picard. He partners up with Michael Jackson. And um, there's some banter there where they have to break out of the case and save the smart doll, which speaks in anime, that bubbly Japanese anime. And um, then it would segue into a Fison where I would build uh, another smart doll, which I have not done yet because I keep getting distracted with life. So that's the pitch. And I've written some, some lines there. And well, I don't know. <laughs> so I've, I've written some lines and hopefully tonight or maybe tomorrow night, I'll go in and, and tweak it out and uh, I'll try to finish it and film it because I know everybody's bored. I know you guys are all bored at home. You're like, you guys are all binge watching. <laughs> you folks out there, you, <laughs> you guys are all binge watching your, your, your past old channels. And the reason I know this is because I get YouTube alerts like, hey, Denobi, you're getting increased views on older videos. And I'm thinking, wow, man, you cats out there must be really bored. You guys are, are hitting my old library. I'm like, what the hell? It must... So I, the pressure's on on me. I was like, I got to get more content out there. I don't have anything to review that I want to. I like to review things that I'm passionate about. But I know you folks out there always get a kick out of the, uh, the Fison video. So I'll get one out there. I've been watching anime stop motion. Hold on. I read a comment here. Uh, do you have the Sideshow C-3PO? Um, I actually had the Sideshow C-3PO. I reviewed it on my channel, and then I quickly sold it. Got rid of that crap. Ooh. The Sideshow C-3PO. I got rid of that crap. <laughs> well, we got exposed. 
Top ten. <laughs> Another question came in here. Uh, uh, you should do it. Let me see. Ray Albert's watching. I mean, hey, you can do top ten. Ah, oh, top ten. That's not. That's not a bad idea, Austin. A top ten Iron Man's diecast. I could do that. Should I get the Mark Seven diecast or the Mark Fifty? Don't ask me stuff like that. Get them both. Lay away. Do something. Sell some of your Marvel Legends. You gotta. You can't ask me. I. It. You. I'm the wrong person. I get questions all the time from you folks out there. Denobi, should I get the Mark Seven? Should I get the Mark Fifty? Should I get this? Should I get? That? No. Don't ask. No. 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 It doesn't work on me. I get them all. It's only recently that I've actually put the brakes on Iron Man. Uh, where, and even then I told myself I was going to put the brakes on Iron Man and I still, I still did it. You know, I still bought the war machine neon tech. I told myself, I'm not going to buy the neon tech war machine. And I still did it. So don't, you can't, you can't use me. I love the die cast. I will always support the die cast Iron Man figures. Always. I love them all. Um, every time hot toys releases, a new version of their of their hot toys die cast it keeps getting better i am in love with the mark 7. the mark 7 die cast that hot toys put out is phenomenal well that tree just popped me in the eye the mark the mark 7 die cast is 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 beyond belief what they were able to uh what they were able to accomplish i need to buy another one i'm kind of panicking right now i need to have a duplicate mark 7 so that i can have one in the hall of armor and then I can have one in the uh, in the escape pod mode, and I'm, I'm, my anxiety is a little bit high because I know that once the Mark Seven diecast is sold out, it's gone. I don't think we're going to see that for a very, very long time. So I'm I, I'm waiting for free shipping. I'm waiting for a discount coupon, something from Sideshow that'll uh, entice me to to pick it up. But I I, I think the Mark Seven will be a holy grail. The die cast, I'm gonna call it right now. Once that thing is sold out, it's gonna enter the, the league of, of, of grails with the Mark V, uh, the Mark VI. That's a grail piece right there at retail. I know 400 bucks is a lot of money. I know the country's in bad shape right now, but I promise you, the Mark VII die cast right now that's on Sideshow is going to be a grail. It is a grail. You just, you guys don't know it yet. Once that thing sells out, it's gone. So I know about that. Uh, what's the tree there? I got a question from somebody here. Hold on. Ooh. What's your best Mount Rushmore Hot Toys? Uh, uh, should sell the Mark V. Into... What you you can't you can't do that. <laughs> uh, here's a here are a few more mess for you. Thank you for everything you've done for the community, please. Oh, uh, Amrina, uh, community try to rearrange a stream with. But... Dude, I this close to getting benjamin back thank you bob dylan i was this close to getting benjamin back until our state is closed um benjamin is is a uh he works in the education system and he, i'm telling you right now he's he's going through some he's going through something right now it's right he it's i can't get close to him he's exposed to to to, to kids it's i'm i'm worried about him um i'm gonna reach out to him again to tonight uh, and just make sure that he's okay. Thank you for reminding me on that. But I probably will not be able to get another Benjamin and Denobi show uh, probably for another month when our state opens up. For those of you who just joined in, Las Vegas is closed. Our state closed about a week and a half ago. Uh, the casinos are closed. All essential businesses are closed. Um, the slot machines, there's no gambling right now. The sin in Sin City is gone. So as much as I would love to hang out with my friends, I, I am honoring, I am practicing the, the quarantine measures that, that have been in place by our governor. Um, it is serious. It is really serious. Um, I hope everybody out there is safe. I hope everybody out there is, you guys have heard it a thousand times. You guys are washing your hands and, and so forth. Uh, just take care. Don't do anything stupid. Don't, don't throw parties. I get it. Don't, don't have social gatherings. If we all did our part, the stupid infection wouldn't keep increasing every day. But we look in the news and it's increasing every day. So it, it, it is what it is. Uh, second verse, please be safe. Absolutely, you know. Please be safe. Absolutely. Uh, Skype mean, here we go. 
Then when you have time, make a video of the top Iron Man figures. It's all gonna be die cast. If I, if I did a, a top 10 videos for, for Iron Man, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be all die cast. The plastic figures don't even hold up anymore. My 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 love and admiration for the plastic suits aren't there anymore. <laughs> they just aren't. Um, I have them in the Hall of Armor. In fact, that was my plan. My plan this year until all this crap happened was uh, to break down my Hall of Armor, my three story, and reposition the figures into a display case. Um, that was the plan. I may, I may still do that, but uh, it's as far as like the top ten, it's going to be all die cast. I would, I'll tell you right now, the number one is going to be the Mark Seven. The Mark Seven die cast is probably by far one of the best stuff that they put out in a long time. Absolutely. God, yeah, that's some good stuff. The War Machine die cast, the War Machine 2.0. <sighs> that would probably come in number two. Diecast War Machine the 2.0. That's a badass figure. That's a great one. Uh, and the, uh, the 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 Mark 50 probably number three uh, with all the uh, the, the, the accessory attachments. That would probably be my my third one. And uh, Mark 5, 4, Mark 6, be the six and so forth. It's all going to be the diecast. It's it's great stuff. What we need is that Mark one. At the rate we're going, we're, we'll get we'll get we'll get the Mark One in two years. I. That's if they who knows they could have probably announced the Mark One, uh, at Comic Con. We may not have a Comic Con this year. We may not have toy events this year. It sucks. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart knowing that San Diego Comic Con may not happen this year. I I um, I attend San Diego Comic Con every year. And it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna feel really weird if if it gets canceled. Like I, I can't even I can't even fathom. I get it. I know it's it's a first world problem. Like oh, Denobi, it's a first world problem to go to a convention. But for me, it's always been a ritual. You know, I don't know how to describe it. I I know there's um, there's more important things that are happening in our country right now. But uh, it's it's just. I still find it very surreal. I still find it very surreal that we're we're going through all this. I still say this is an alternate 2000. This is an alternate 2020. 2020. I'm telling you, something happened where a book was given to somebody in the past and it created this alternate reality. And we just, I, I like everything went south. Everything just went south so fast. Like I, I just like wow. Like what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Everything was so good. Like, what the hell happened? <sighs> hmm. Why do you think this is an alternate reality? I don't know because it's so. It feels so surreal. The reason I keep talking about it because everything just changed so radically, uh, and it could just very well be that we are, we are just spoiled. You know. Let's just switch this out here. It could. Um, it could just be that we're just spoiled. So. Maybe this is a reality check for all of us. Who knows? You know, maybe there's more important things in life, but I don't know. I like collecting figures. I like collecting toys. I don't, I don't have any other vices. I don't smoke. I'm not a drinker. Uh, let's hold on here. I saw something from, is this the part? Is this the part where you filmed something? Yeah. So perfect is the best reality I've ever seen. This is the best timeline. It's the best. <laughs> Bob, are you trying to say? <laughs> Bob, are you trying to say that this all this this reality that we're living in is the? <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, you're funny. <laughs> oh, I wanted I want it all to go back to normal. I really do. I really do, so that we can all go back to the things we love. We can all go back to collecting the things we love. And uh, uh, it's Mercury in retrograde. And, uh, I admit now that <laughs> it's the Mandela effect. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys are all safe out there. And um, for those of you who aren't aware, I am on Reddit. I, I'm not on Facebook. I'm only on Instagram and on Reddit. And I have noticed that a lot of you guys are, a lot of you folks out there are constantly repositioning your, your hot toys and dusting them out and, and you're, you're kind of revisiting some of your older collection. And I, I just think that's funny. 
Um, but you know, I'm guilty of that too. I've, I've kind of gone back to my hall of armor. I've, I've repositioned some of the suits. I've kind of gone back to some of the, the stuff and, uh, and, uh, and just kind of tweaked it up and, and so forth. I saw a, a question here. Hold on. This will be the way. Yeah, <laughs> this will be good times when the virus mutates. The virus mutates. Yeah, it's, 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 it's weird times. Uh, supposedly the 2007 Olympics is forward is going forward. No, this two, the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo have been postponed until next year. So there's no Olympics. Uh, the Tokyo Olympics have been postponed until next year. And um, everything has just been kind of put in hold. So, you know. Oh, hold on here. Camera. Camera is switching. There we go. It's supposed to lock in on me. That is it. I did my rants. I did my rants on Baby Yoda. Uh, I picked on Star Wars a little bit. I wish Star Wars would improve. Uh, Marvel, uh, the the MCU. I wish, I wish Robert Downey Jr. would uh, come back. And um, I think this is it. I think this is it for the live stream. And that is it. Um, Link, Link the Jedi. What's up, dude? What's up? Thank you for joining. Hanging in there, keeping busy, uh, walking the park. Aren't you glad your trip to Japan wasn't late in the year? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell you one, one thing right now, no regrets. I had a blast in Japan. Uh, I had so much fun in Japan in December. I was aware of the virus. See, this is the thing. I knew that, that this thing was going out, out there and I still went to Japan. I still had a blast. So, uh, Ken Carpenter, Watch Birds of Prey. Uh, my little girl loves Harley Quinn. I was forced to pay 20 bucks for Birds of Prey and it was horrible. This is it. Uh, I think I've done my walk. I've done, look at my watch here. I've done my 6,000 steps. I appreciate you folks out there joining me in my little exercise since, since the gym and everything else has been closed. Stay safe, wash your hands, and thank you.